Hey you guys, I am I am back with Bubbly Pink. Hey you guys, I'm really excited today to be doing a foundation wear test. I have not done one of these in a while. So yeah, for today's foundation wear test, I'm going to be trying out the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation by Catrice. They recently expanded their shade range of this, so it has been kind of talked about quite a bit here on YouTube, so I really wanted to try it for myself and see how it wears on oily skin and to let you all know how it wears so that you can know if it's worth your money if it's a good purchase foundation really varies just with everyone's skin type so like i said mine is oily it gets super oily like around the t-zone so we are going to test this out today and see what i think so i'm going to pull up the information here on ulta's website i'm um, just to give you a little background of the foundation and the claims and all that good stuff so the foundation retails for $2.99 and you do get 1.01 fluid ounces of product which is 0 0.01 ounces more than usual usually you get one ounce so it's like a tiny tiny bit more um but i feel like it's fairly affordable i've heard this compared to the fenty foundation but i have not personally used that so i don't know um personally i can't really tell you if that's true or not but okay it says it's an ultra lightweight high coverage foundation for a natural looking finish it covers imperfections and mattifies the skin creating a smooth and even complexion for up to 24 hours features a unique dropper applicator paraben free and not tested on animals so that is great i was looking to see if it would like tell you the best way to apply it but it does not i may try to do one side with the beauty sponge and one side with the brush and kind of see which way i like better like which finish i prefer and so we will see. So if you are excited about this foundation wear test, then please give the video a thumbs up and just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you are not already. I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on into the video. So for this foundation, I am going to prep my skin. I did already wash my face, moisturize, all that good stuff as well. And I did already do my brows also, so. I'm sure you can tell. I'm going to grab um, some of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and put this all over. I do prefer to use a primer that I know works rather than trying a new primer when I'm trying a new foundation because, oh, let me take my rings off. Rather than trying a new primer with the foundation because then it's kind of like, it's kind of like, how do you know if it was the primer that's giving you issues or if it's the foundation. So I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess today. It's Monday and I could really just not be bothered to fix my hair and put on real clothes. So just please bear with me. Okay, so now that I have that all on my face, I do normally like to let it kind of sit. I did actually, so last night I used the Briogeo repair don't despair hair mask oh my gosh i had used it a while back in like a i had like a sample size of it and i really loved it but i forgot how much i loved it so this is my normally when i blow dry my hair i do try to do it like you know with a round brush and blow dry it like super to where it's you know it's where i don't look like a lion pretty much but this is my hair without being straightened at all and normally if you know me like personally you will know that every time I blow dry my hair, I look like the Lion King. <laughs> so that hair mask seriously helped my hair so much. It's so smooth and it's just not frizzy. It's pretty much blowing my mind that this is just my hair after being blow dried and that's it. So just a little, just throwing that out there a little bit. So for this foundation, I did get the shade, I got the shade 032 Nude Beige. I'm hoping this will match me because right now I am self-tanned. As you can see, my face is a completely different color than my, the rest of my body. Besides my legs, because when it gets cold outside, I do not self-tan my legs. <laughs> Am I the only one? Please let me know down below if whenever it gets colder out and you're not going to be wearing shorts or dresses or anything, let me know if... If you also just self tan like the parts of your body that are going to be showing because that's that's what I do so no shame I just want to know if I'm alone or if other if there are others out there <laughs> okay but anyways let's go ahead it does say this lasts up to 24 hours I apologize I'm not going to be trying this for 24 hours 
yeah, I'm not gonna be trying this for 24 hours today. I may do a 24 hour wear test of this if I enjoy how it wears now for like the like eight hour period I'm gonna be wearing it. But, and also I wanna see if it breaks out my skin because if it does, I do not wanna be wearing it for 24 hours, just saying. But anyways, it does say it lasts for 24 hours and it's mattifying and a second skin effect. So that just sounds really, really cool. High definition finish, finish. High definition finish for camera ready skin dermatologically, dermatologically, dermatologically tested. Dermatologically. Why is that such a weird word? Anyways, I'm sorry. Shake before use. Okay, so I'm going to shake this really well. I'm going to start out by applying it with a BB sponge on one side and then with a brush on the, on the other side and kind of seeing which side I prefer and then going all over with the face with that. Mm, yeah, I'm going to... Dang it, why do I always do that? Okay, so I'm going to look like a ghost and just please don't judge me. Alright, so we're going to do this one half first. Ah, oh, dang, I'm really gonna have to bronze this up. Please don't judge me, you guys. I've been so terrible with this shade matching stuff lately. <sighs> gonna find a real technique sponge. So, so far, I mean, it does seem to be giving pretty good coverage. Wow, like I really, I mean, you can see that, like a difference in this side and this side. Wow, oh, I am impressed. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why have I like not tried this yet? Wow, so, so far, that looks really good with the beauty sponge. And I mean, it gives you a, like normally, you know, the brush gives you a lot more coverage than a sponge. So I do want to see what that side looks like as well. But for a sponge, this is probably like two little droppers full of this for that much coverage on that side. So let's see how the other side does. Do about the same amount with that as well. Gosh, I'm very just pleasantly surprised by that so far so we're gonna go in with the brush kind of like showing you up close you can kind of see the difference this is the sponge side and this is the brush side I honestly don't know which I prefer. I honestly think the sponge. I feel like it just like looks a lot more natural with the sponge than with the brush. I feel like the brush does give you more coverage. So if you are just, you know, wanting super high coverage, but I really like the finish that the sponge gave. So what I'm going to do is actually try to build this up a little bit. And I am going to go in with like a couple more, like maybe just I'm actually shake it again first. I'm gonna shake it one more time and go in with a little more and then try to build it up and I'm gonna go in with the sponge to do that because I think I prefer the sponge side, which is crazy because I am all about like my flat kabuki brushes when it comes to um, foundation. So, I mean, it doesn't feel cakey. Um, it feels fairly lightweight. It's not sticky. I really like it. Like I really, really like it so far. I'm go back in with the sponge. Like, I feel like it just gives a lot more of like a airbrush finish when you do the sponge. I mean, that seriously like covered up my dark circles under my eyes. This is kind of reminding me of the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation, but that one is a lot more thin. It has a lot more of a thin consistency than this one. This one is definitely more thick, but it does remind me of that one just in the simple fact that like it's covering up my dark circles and I think a foundation that can do that. It's very high coverage. <laughs> I mean, that covered up pretty much everything. And I do not match my body, oh my gosh. Oh well, good thing I don't have to go anywhere today. <laughs> Maybe the gym this evening, but besides that, pff, I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay. So it is right now 1.39 p.m. So yeah, I'm gonna call check-in time. I would say like, I'll say 1.45 just to be safe. And I am going to try to wear this as long as possible. I do normally go to bed fairly early on the weeknights because I do have a job. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break right now actually filming this. So yeah, um, it is one for, we'll say 1.45. I'm going to actually go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup. Then after I'm done with all my makeup, I'm gonna check in and just show you all the finished look with a uh, concealer and all that good stuff on. And we will go from there. I will insert a clip of me in the natural daylight as well. So I'll be back here shortly as soon as I get done applying the rest of my makeup. See you guys soon. Oh my goodness, Mummy Ma is the most precious. She sent me a text that says, Liz, time to dig up banana tree. Have fun, Mima. <laughs> like that's just so cute. I love her so so much. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it is now so it's now 2.36. Um, it did take me a while to finish my makeup because I did have to go back to work. So then I got to take a break and finish my makeup. But yes, we are still saying check-in time was 1.45. This is my face with everything on. I love the way that it's looking so far. It does not look cakey. Like I'll kind of let you see a little bit. It's not looking cakey. It is not oxidized, I don't think. Um, it just looks very skin-like and it does not feel heavy at all. So I can really appreciate that. If a foundation is super heavy, I feel like it can really cause my skin to break out because my skin is fairly sensitive. So that is something I can definitely appreciate. Um, I was going to tell you, it does not have like a, a scent. I can't really, it has like a, just a tiny bit of a scent, but nothing too overpowering whatsoever. So I use like three different setting powders. I use the ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder and the Hourglass Setting Veil, Mineral Veil, whatever. And I also use the Collab um, Kill the Shine Press Powder all over my face on top of that. For bronzer, butter bronzer. For highlight, I use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Wisp. And for blush, I use the Benefit California Blush. And for inner corner highlight and brow bone, I use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. And for mascara, Flash Paradise lips was the Ofra Cosmetics um, Liquid Lip in Verona. And concealer was the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. I used that in the shade Vanilla. And then for the eyes, I used the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. I cannot get away from this. So I just, yeah, that's what I've been just loving use pretty much all the time um, for eyeliner the makeup revolution renaissance flick liner and i think that's it oh to set my face um after all the powders before i put on highlight i spray it with the smashbox primer water and then after um highlight is on i went back in with the milani make a last setting spray i'm going to use a setting spray that is fairly long lasting so that i will give this foundation a good you know chance to last on my oily skin because my skin is super super oily so yes that is the point we were at now um so yeah 145 was the check-in time it's been on about an hour now so it does not look bad at all so far so far i'm absolutely loving it i hope it continues to wear well um i am going to insert a little clip of me in the natural daylight sunlight whatever you want to call it here after this so that you can see and then I will come back and check in with you all after I get off work this evening and let you know how it's holding up so yeah I will see you guys soon okay you guys so this is me in the natural sunlight um, I am standing just in front of my living room windows I'm just kind of give you all a different look at the foundation rather than in front of like the beauty lights because I know it can look different in different lighting. So yes, this is what it looks like now. I feel like it looks really, really good. I feel like it's not emphasizing texture. It's not like emphasizing pores or anything like that. I feel like it's just looking very skin-like, but I feel like it covered everything too. So I really, really like it so far. Um, I just wanted to let you know what it looked like in natural daylight. So this is it. I will kind of Zoom y'all in a little bit, or kind of bring the camera in. So that's what I'm working with right now. 
I am going to get back to work. I will check back in with you all here in a few hours after I get off work, let you know how it's holding up, and then I will do another check-in right before it is my bedtime. Yeah, I wanna give y'all a couple check-ins. Keep in mind, I have oily skin, like super oily. I'm not going to use any blotting papers. I'm not going to touch up or anything like that, unless it's like my lipstick, so yes. Just letting y'all know and I will talk to you all shortly. Okay, you guys, so I am checking in super quick. It is now, okay, so it is now 5.49. So that means that the foundation has been on now for four hours. So um, I just wanted to check in with you all and show you how it is holding up. It seems to be holding up very, very well. Like I have not looked at it since after I got done applying the rest of my makeup and it, I mean, Like it doesn't seem to be caking up at all. Usually where it does it would be like around my nose um, or around my smile lines, like just anywhere like all right through there. And it's not doing that at all. Like it's looking so, so good. And I'm very, very impressed so far. It seems to be holding it very well, like with my oily skin too. So that is definitely a plus. I feel like it's just, it's just looking really, really good right now. So I'm so happy with it so far. I am going to check in with you all before I take the makeup off at the end of the night. I'm just gonna give you all like a summary of my thoughts of it and if I think it's worth it. So far, I definitely do think it's worth it. So I will be sure to, like I said, check in one more time. I am about to go eat dinner now. As of now, at the four hour mark, I still am very, very impressed and I am loving this. This is, at this point, probably going to become one of my new favorites. I may just need to get a darker shade for when I am more self-tanned, but as of now, like the whole, like the wear, and the just look of it is i mean it's beautiful right now like i am so, so impressed i'm gonna try to keep it on until about 8 30 maybe 9. <laughs> i feel like that will still give you like a good representation of how the foundation wears so so far we are good and i will check in with you all at the end of the night so really fast with it Hey you guys, I am back for my final check-in of this foundation wear test and I do have to say, wow, like that's, huh, wow. <laughs> it is now 9.08, so that means that the foundation has been on for, so that means the foundation's been on for about seven and a half hours. I am so tired and i have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning for the gym so that is why i am ending this foundation wear test now i am ready to take my makeup off and wash my face and go to bed so that i can get up in the morning <sighs> because i i don't do well without like at least six and a half hours anything less than that it's just i may as well just not sleep yeah let me show you all what it's looking like i am like so impressed like it's not sinking in anywhere. Like it's not cakey. And I am just like so impressed by this. I mean, $10.99 for a foundation. And I mean, I feel like the bottle is like super luxe and like it, it looks, you know, more luxurious than just a drugstore foundation. So I will say that gives it a you know another bonus i don't exactly like like the dropper type bottle but i don't really care what kind of applicator it has as long as it works for my skin and is a good foundation so so i definitely give this like three thumbs up if i could like it is that good like so good it has not broken up at all and i am like so oily and i was kind of afraid it was going to be too matte which i have not really going for lately I like more of a kind of a satin matte finish, like a demi matte, rather than like a super matte. I really feel like I have found a new holy grail foundation and I don't know what took me so long to try this. I've seriously had this for like probably a month now and I'm just now getting around and trying it because I wanted to do a wear test. And this is the first impressions, by the way. I did not mention that at all in the beginning of the video. But. So yeah, first impressions, wear test, and a Bit of a review i am happy with this seven and a half hours and i have no complaints not one bad thing to say about it and i'm super picky about my foundation like i have some dry patches like from where i had some acne spots that are kind of like some blemishes that are clearing like i had a few dry spots but it really did not like it did not emphasize that it just covered it like 
I'm just so impressed. Like I'm, I just love finding new affordable options for foundations because we don't always have to go out and spend 40, 50, $60 on a foundation just to get a good foundation. And that's really why I like trying new drugstore foundations because why not save some money? You know, I know that at Ulta they only have, I want to say four shades right now, but on Catrice's website, they have their expanded shade range on there. So if you can't find the one that you want from Ulta, look on Catrice and see if you can um, find your shade there. I actually did recently get a primer from Catrice as well. It's not the pore killing one. I already have that one. Um, the pore filling one I already have that it's like a black primer and I really want to try that I might try that here soon and see how I like that but yeah that is it for this video I also um, did take a picture with flash I will insert that right here so you can see um, because I know it says that it it's a HD foundation which allows it to be good for photography so I wanted to take a picture with flash so that we could see how it looked. I mean, I feel like there was no flashback or anything like that. And I feel like it photographed really well. So that is it for this video for this wear test. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.